when they approach it, when they give you these scripts, do you have, do you ask questions or they, do they allow for feedback of any kind? Yeah, it's all super collaborative, especially because, well, we are sort of in the unique um, position where we've had three different showrunners in the last, throughout the show. I so, there was a third. Was there Graham Yost and then a third after that? Yeah, oh, wow. Blake Masters was our showrunner this season. And um, yeah, so it, it's interesting because like each time that someone comes in, with the exception of like David Shore who created it and Brian Cranston, so like in the days of the pilot. Yost um, came in for the first season though too, right? It yeah. Wasn't like, the first, the showrunner created the pilot and then he left and then Yas came in for one and two and now Blake Masters for three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Graham did seasons one and two and Blake did three. And um, so we were sort of in this unique position where like we've been living with the characters for longer than the showrunners. So each time the showrunner would come in, it would be like a collaborative conversation about like where we see our character going and all of this stuff. Um, I really loved the ride I got to go on this season. Um, it was really fun and dark and weird and um like I really feel like I got to like dig into the meat of who Carly is and um yeah yeah because often I mean she's gotten episodes before big scenes before but relegated to be more of the teenager who's kind of causing trouble by being a little too curious in this mm. season you really do have your own journey that you that you go on yeah it was um it was really fun and it was also really fun um like getting to work with Margo so much and getting to work with, uh, yeah, I feel like this season was a sort of a coming of age season for Carly. Um, like when I start, when we start, I have all of these questions. I become obsessed with the idea that my mom might be alive and like in a very Carly way, like fully dives into like obsessing over this thing and, um, runs off to California. And, uh, by the end of it, when I, after going through all the things and uncovering things about our past and our family and Audrey's past. And, um, by the end I like come out, I, it's like I, the veil has been lifted and I came out with like, um, more understanding of what family is and people are. And, um, I think she grows up by the end. 